after working with the layers, the layer panel, deleting, creating, duplicating layers. Now let's learn how can we lock these layers that we've been working on. So move, let's move forward and understand the locking of layers. Locking allows a layer content to be partially or fully locked. So to fully lock the layer, you can just simply clear the lock panel at the bottom and the layer would be protected by locking the layer means the layer is not locked. It cannot be moved or cannot be affected on whatever you do. There are four options. You could just lock the transparent pixels. You could lock the image pixels or you could just lock the positions. Or if you want every, the entire layer to be locked, you can just click on lock all. So guys, let's move forward and understand locking the layer in Photoshop itself. Locking a layer in Photoshop means that you're actually refraining it from its movement, maybe refraining its position, and maybe refraining the transparent pixels, or just completely locking it. So by default, a background layer is always locked. So I'm going to do Control J. So I'm going to click here, do Control J to have another layer which is not locked. And if I move this over, you can see that I'm easily moving it over. I can just do a, again, I can do, you know, to lock this layer, I can click here. And now when I lock it and I'm done and now I don't want it to move further, I can lock its position and it will stop locking. And whatever I do, I can unlock it position. Now let me do it, just kind of go back and I can click here and again, you know, again, you know, okay. So I can again, whenever I click on the lock pad, I can again, you know, so I can again move it. So now again, I can move it. Now let me just do another. I'm going to do control J and I have another copy. And again, I can move it further. So I'm just tapping few copies again. I want to do control J and I have another copy. And again, I can move it. And now I don't want all of these to, you know, keep moving. So I can go ahead and lock them together. I can also, you know, can copy all of them and create a link and lock them together. And now when I lock, all of them gets locked together. So all these three layers are linked and are locked. And now, okay, this layer is left, my layer one. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to again lock it. And now when I move it, its pixels are locked. Now let me just have another control shift N and have a transparent layer over it where it, I'm going to type something. So I'm going to do T and maybe just click here and write Paris. And I'm going to select it. And I'm going to increase the size by the scrappy drivers. And I'm going to move it. Now, this layer of mine is not moved. You know, it's not locked and I can move this layer. So when I'm working in pixels, pictures, and I want certain part to not move and the rest of the part to move so I can go ahead and, you know, uh, and press the lock position or completely lock it and it will not start moving. I can also, what I can do is if I just want my image to not move and my text to move, I can go ahead and select the locking of my image pixels. So if I go ahead and remove this entire lock, I can just go ahead and just lock my image pixels and my text will keep moving. I can also go ahead and just lock my transparent pixels and only my trans transparent pixels will be locked. So it depends on what type of picture you have and what type of locking you want. Locking works perfectly when you want to work on some part and keep the other part locked and you, when you're on a similar image. So this is so powerful and so helpful. So start locking your image to make sure that whatever editing you have done is locked and not changed.